Hi everybody, welcome to Patrick Scale Studio. My name is Patrick, I'll be your host. This will be build video number 11. It's going to be a short one. Uh, following up from build video 10, we were talking mainly about this superstructure part and where some of the defects lie in it and how we can fix those. Um, two of the ones that I addressed directly on camera was building a shelf right there to help this fit better and eliminate the gap. I would say mission accomplished. No gap there. Looks great. Uh, and then also, we put some 2500s styrene evergreen sheet right here and sanded from here up on these two diagonal parts right there so that uh, it goes from the gray I Love Kit plastic up to the full thickness of the 2500s uh, sheet. And again, there was a gap right there when we put this part down onto the hole in the deck and that right there eliminated that gap. Again, mission accomplished. One of the things we did not accomplish while we were in working through build video number 10 was making sure that the sides did not leave a gap there with the hull and the deck when we fit this on. And that's just because mainly the sides on this piece of the superstructure are slightly concave. There is no good way of flexing these out so that they were a little bit more rigid. And that is mainly due to us having these pieces here. Once these pieces right here are fit into place, you can't put anything between these two, between the extreme sidewalls there in order to keep these flexed out. So that means we had to put a modification into the deck. So you can see that modification here. Uh, my exact steps were as follows. I kind of had this over and used a little bit of tape to kind of mark out where this was uh, and where I could alter on the deck so that it wouldn't be visible. And yeah, one thing to keep in mind when you do so is there's nothing to cover these rear passageways back here. So make sure that any of your modifications are not going to be super easily visible uh, just by quickly glancing. Uh, make the people work for it if they're going to see where you screwed with the kit and the directions. Uh, so after I got that marked off, I put some tape around the area I was going to work on. I took some sandpaper and sanding sponges and sanded out the paint because when you glue styrene to styrene, it's always best you're going to have the strongest bond when it's directly styrene to styrene and there's no paint layers or varnish layers or anything like that in the way. So that's what I did. Sanded that all down, cut this three millimeter thick styrene into a couple of strips, about that size, of course. And um, then I drilled through the deck and through this and inserted some brass rods with a little bit of CA glue. And then after that was put into place, then I followed up with the regular styrene cement, uh, just the Tamiya uh, extra thin right there to help it flow in and get these situated and clamped down. The brass rod on that is because these parts are going to be under a little bit of tension. After I put this down, the natural tendency of this part right here is these want to stay concave. So we don't want them to be concave. We want them to remain flat. But regardless, that concave side is going to be pushing against this. So this is going to be slightly under tension. We want to make sure that it's very sturdy. Uh, so it is. And again, mission accomplished. So if I put this down here and very carefully put this into place. And I say very carefully because I already knocked off a hose, one of those hose reels up front, those really nice red hose reels. All right, there we go. So now, there's no gap there. And that looks, looks great. So again, I would say mission accomplished. No seam up front, no seam on the sides and no seam back here. Part goes down onto the deck all the way, all the way around perfectly. So good to go there. I'm gonna move this out of the way. All right, next thing I wanted to discuss in this video, now that we got that out of the way, 
was uh, my order of operations. And that's kind of the main point of the video right now. So we still have to put these passageway bulkheads into that main superstructure element. So that'll complete step 13. I'm going to knock out step 14, step 15, step 16, step 17, 18, 19, and 20. I'm going to actually, the next build video series uh, it should be uh, build videos uh, 12A and 12B, just like uh, 9A and 9B. It's going to be the the first one, 12A, is going to be all the parts uh, taken off, any any kind of hiccups or any gotcha pieces along the way, uh, and then ending up with those parts into uh, paint boards and getting ready for painting, priming, painting. And then uh, 12B will be where we take those parts and attach them at post painting and all of that. We'll attach them, we'll do any detailed painting, and we'll show up where we're at after that. We're not going to do 21 and 22, though, while this piece is separate from the hull and the deck. And the reason behind that is, is this part right here, where that bridge structure would go, the part right there provides a perfect opportunity to put something rigid right there to when we are ready to clamp this down to the hull and the deck. We've, we've got something that is in place that will allow us to do that easily. If we wait until I Love Kit's instructions tell us to do so, which is all the way here at step 40, look at all this stuff all over the place. We're never going to get that in place and have anywhere good that we can use to hold that down with clamps or straps or rubber bands or anything like that. We would make a, we would make a mess out of that. So. I'm deviating from the instructions. Between now and the next time you see it, I'm going to be getting all the parts for steps 13 through 20, separate from their sprues, ready for priming and painting. Um, and in the case of 13, we'll get these attached, actually, because these need to be painted. Additionally, the follow-up for that will be getting this painted in gray. It's going to be painted in gray. These will be in there. They'll get painted. All the little parts will be painted and all the little detail pieces will be painted. That will be the 12B portion of the next two videos. Um, and in addition to that, uh, a addendum to that is going to be including 23, 24, and getting those put under 25. Notice still no bridge structure right there. But 23, 24, and 25. Those will be taken care of also. And the reason being is these parts are going to be, for the most part, painted the exact same color. I'd like to go ahead and paint them all in one place, in, in just one, one swoop and be done with it. That way it'll be easy. Uh, they'll blend in a lot better than if I painted them separately and there was a slight difference or something like that in which bottle of uh, Tamiya XF12 I decided to use and one was just a hair different. It would look weird. So we paint them while they're in place. They'll blend in nicely with everything else. And then after that, we'll work on the bridge structure. Well, no, no, I'm sorry. After that, we'll get this clamped into place on the hull and the deck, and then we'll work on that bridge structure. And then we'll work on this nice tripod mast, the yards, and all of those systems, um, some more details. And then the rear superstructure, funnel structure, uh, we're going to do something similar to that as well. We're going to kind of get all this put together, but we're leaving parts off of here and here so that again we've got these nice surfaces that are rigid that we can use to help clamp this down uh, to make sure that we alleviate any potential for gaps or this part lifting up off and not getting glued into place the way it should. Alrighty, so that 
really just about wraps it up for this build video. Uh, I figured it was going to be short, uh, but definitely wanted to touch base with the, the mods that we did to those whole superstructure parts. So uh, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, uh, if you'd like to know how I did something or you have any suggestions on how I could do something better, please feel free to leave your feedback in the comments for this video. Um, also, I've had other people pointing out uh, what certain parts are called or why certain things were done the way they were uh, from, from our wonderful veterans. I, I really appreciate that feedback as well. Uh, all we can ever do is just get better. Uh, and that's, that's my aim here with this whole build series. So I appreciate your time and thank you very much for watching. Until we see you next time, happy modeling.